أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد this will only be uh, three to five minutes uh, short reminder inshallah from the book Riyadh al-Salihin and I'm looking here for a hadith which inshallah we can put into practice by إذن الله سبحانه وتعالى so the hadith we are looking at today is the hadith of our messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said give the glad tidings give the glad tidings to those who go to the mosque in the early mornings in the dark so the, the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said give the glad tidings to people that walk or drive towards the mosque when it's dark and they asked him what is their reward they said with a complete light on the day of judgment because they came out of their beds they went into the dark when the majority of people on the earth on the face of the earth even didn't think about meeting Allah in the early mornings so why is this light important what, what, what is light for anyway on the day of judgment we should know that on the day of judgment everything will be dark and that in accordance or in harmony with your good deeds your light will increase and the munafiqun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes them in the Quran and he says every time their light you know gets enlightened all of a sudden they are in the obscurity in the dark because their light was not firm when people were looking at them they were showing iman when people were looking at them they were showing patience when people were looking at them, they were smiling. They were even pretending to be close to Allah, saying, look, I'm patient, I'm close to Allah. But when they were alone, all of a sudden they changed. They transformed into something else. So this is why their light is not firm on the Day of Judgment. So what is the proof that your light is firm? That you go to visit Allah's house in the early mornings. Instead of sleeping, instead of staying in bed, especially when it's cold and rainy, Everybody knows how it feels. But the Messenger وسلم, said, Allah is pleased with two people, and one of them was Birajulin Qama fi Laylatin Baridatin. Yani he's pleased with a man that wakes up on a cold morning, leaving his bed, leaving his pillows, leaving his peace of mind to go to the mosque. So this is the light that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us on the day of judgment just for going to the mosque in the obscurity. So every time we wake up, we know that we will need this light. And the last thing I want to say is ask Allah for light. Can't you see that the Messenger of Allah, والسلام, when he came to the mosque, one of his supplications of his dua, adi'ya, duas would be, at, yani, give us a light. Now, give us light yani, on the Day of Judgment. So in brief, this is what I wanted to say. So if you want light on the Day of Judgment, you don't want to be in the obscurity, you want light to see how you have to go over the sirat, over the bridge. You want light at the scales. You want to find your way to paradise. Then you're in need of this light. And this is Salat al-Fajr in the mosque. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this beneficial. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa akhiru da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.